Welcome back to Country Maintenance. Got an AC not uh, cooling and uh, the fan's not running. Jumped up on the roof here. See if I can kickstart the fan. Got nothing there. Probably gonna need to pull it. It's uh. Hey, hey, hey. Compressor's running. Haven't overheated yet. But our fan's not running. Capacitor looks way tired. All right, let me go ahead and pull it. Okay. Hopefully it's just our fan capacitor. It's in a box, that's not very good. And uh, well, but compressor's actually not too hot. So, might have gotten lucky here. I think I'm just gonna change out all the capacitors and uh, check all the wiring here. I can test the capacitors, test the capacitors. We got some cable ties, We're gonna need those. Uh, gonna need to discharge the capacitor. And I got new capacitors, a five microfarad, and a 35, and a new hard start kit. Just gonna rebuild this whole thing, other than contactor actually looks okay. We're looking there a little deeper, but so far looks okay. Alright. Blazing hot. We're not out of out of the summer woods yet. It's uh it's hot. Okay. Just kind of getting something to lean my knee on. Sometimes it's hard on the feet uh, when you're crouching down working on these air conditioners. A lot of times bending the, the feet and there's a lot of different little problems, but anyway. Okay, so a capacitor holds a charge in it even after the power is disconnected. So we need to discharge our capacitor by bridging the leads and that cancels out any charge that's held. And I'll go ahead and get the little fan one as well. And, uh, and just peeking in there a little deeper. Both our red wires on the right side with our black wires on the left side. Everything looks okay there. But again, we'll be changing these out. We could test them after. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. Oh, blazing. Come back to that one. Here's our common side. It shares the majority of the wires. On the other side is just the start wire on its own side. Um, hard start kit goes one lead to each side. And our herm is on the far side of that capacitor. There we go. For free. And man, is it hot. Laser. Alright. Well, we'll test it. Ouch. It's just too hot. Okay. Jumper wire. Yeah, no me. Jumper wire. Okay. Well. To get our new capacitor. Sweat's actually running right into my eye. <laughs> that happens out here. We got our new capacitor, got our hard start kit. And these are my old Janitrol units, so they're 35 microfarad on the capacitor. Let me get rid of that box. 
going to use our cable straps and strap it in our new fan cap. It's a little low. That's probably why they use someone use the box. I can use a hard start kit underneath it. Just like that. And we could also put a cable strap through and around there. I'm just being careful here not to touch the side of the contactor. It has low voltage the 24 volts going through but because I'm perspiring all of that moisture can increase the surface area and then you can even have a dangerous situation even with just 24, 20, 24 volts. There have been situations where people have been killed even by a 9 volt uh, charge from a multimeter uh, so it uh, bears uh, taking some precautions and being extra careful and being aware of the situation uh, of what you're dealing with. It doesn't take much, but there under the right conditions, or the wrong conditions, things can go wrong in a hurry. Yeah, the sweat just wants to go right in my eyes. Okay, I'll use that cable strap instead. That way I can kind of clip that on there. Okay, and I'll need a second cable strap for another deal. Okay. Trying to kind of act quick up here. It takes it takes its uh, toll pretty quickly. take and bring to the back. That's the yellow start wire from the compressor or to the compressor. At least for sure Goodman's and Janitrols it's yellow. Not all brands use the same color. And then we've got our common jumper wire here. To the top of the contactor that's bringing power to the capacitor. And then we've got a blue to the fan. And then we're going to have a jumper lead from our capacitor, which is, I'm not going to call it cold, but it's cooled down a little bit. Okay, and that's going one side from our fan lead, the other side to our common. Okay. There we go. And... Now we've got our one lead from our fan motor to our capacitor. There we go. Tighten that one down a little bit. Get a tiny loose. That's better. Okay, now we're all wired up. Everything's new. And the hope is for us to start on our fan motor. So here's our disconnect. Just going to take one final peek around inside. Everything looks good. Let's hope this fan motor starts up. Here goes. Hi. Fan motor did not start. It's not good. Okay. What's wrong with our fan? 
We have no fan. Okay. Now we'll re-discharge. Anytime you plug it back in, you, it re-energizes that capacitor. And so you can discharge it so we can work on the system safely. And I'm gonna check our leads. Here goes our fan. Here goes our other fan. And third one should be going up to the contactor right there and this okay that's all good I just vaguely remember something a long time ago where this one I messed with the wiring going in and it started running the wiring going into the, the fan deal here Maybe I remember wrong, I don't know. I'm gonna try plugging in again, see what happens. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. So we got a bad fan motor. Okay. New fan motor. Okay, I'm gonna pull off the lid. Take a look here. Check the wiring on this one. Like I was explaining, I just remember touching something in there, and then all of a sudden it started up. Yeah, and that was like two years ago. So, could have been two years ago. Could have been five years ago. Not really sure. I got bigger fish to fry since then, and everything was working. So, hey, I was it's not broken. Don't fix it. But that's where I was at. The point. Well. Today it's broken, so it's time to fix it. So that's the story. It is way hot though. What I'm going to see is if there's any kind of break in the wiring. So can I can I repair it? And if not, need a new fan motor, so I'll be part way there now. black wire going up to the contactor. I like to use my screwdriver point under the leads and that seems to work the best for me to lift it up and off and we got our blue one going here Oops. there we go okay that's all of our fan leads this is a three wire fan my new ones are four wire where you have a brown going to one side of the Passer. contactor, brown and white going to the other. It just connects the common internally. Okay. Now we can pull off our lid. Okay. 
Tiniest bit of a breeze, which is a good thing. Okay, so let's take a look at our wiring. Let's see if we see anything. Look at it's like almost chewed through right there. And I don't know if it broke apart, but that's my suspicion. And uh just a, a look at how squeezed it is. The rest of the spots are a little bit questionable, but I think it's right there. And I wonder if I couldn't even just pull it apart and tell. But I, I think that's what's going on. I'm gonna try wire nut in that. I could be completely wrong. A good chance that I am, but uh, that's the chance I'm going to take here at this point. I've got a couple types of wire nuts or this type of wire lead. So let me see if I can cut this one here and then we'll get on the other side of this. Uh, only try, right? There's my piece. I guess I could wire strip it a little further back and pull it. It looked the wire was intact, so I don't know. All the wiring was there, so I very might be wrong. I might just do all three of these. The major just shot in the dark, but that's what I'm going to do. This one seems really weak as well, so I'm going to take it back a little further. So we'll make all those connections happen within the conduit. Shade. A little shade, so that's good. It's too hot. Now, if I hadn't had that experience with this one, I wouldn't be doing this this way, or I wouldn't even be trying this. It's... But because I had that experience where I pushed it and then everything worked. I'm gonna try. Okay. On this end, we already did the brown one. And the black one, I'm gonna pull back, trim further back. Get past that bad spot. And the blue one, the same thing. Here's the bad spot here. Okay. Here's what was the bad one on the black side. So, let's see if I can strip it before that. Looks like all the wiring was intact there as well. This may not do anything for us. On that blue one.
I might very well be wasting my time here. Uh, it seems. Okay. Got a few of these connector heels. At least I did. Two of those. Well, might have to use a wire nut for the other one. That is in my bag. I'd rather use a small little wire nut. Have a little tiny one. Got a fairly large orange one. That's yeah, not going my way. Yep, I found a little one in my pocket. Oh, an orange one. Darn it. goes furthest so I can probably actually take that all the way just outside the front. The black and the blue one gonna have to go inside. Okay, so here's the black one. the brown one. Okay, well, what I can do is connect the brown one and we can use that to pull it, pull it all the way through. And then we've got our blue one. It's probably just a big waste of time, but doing it anyway. There's the blue one. There's 
the black one. Okay. And now we're going to feed on through with our conduit. And I'm going to feed the conduit back up through here. Because I should have fed that to begin with. Okay. Now we need to pull one of them up and through first. The blue one. Should try kind of get the crown. Okay, so got the wiring all fed through. connection in the wiring even though it didn't show up pull this wire out more take a look see if maybe it was in there oh. nope I, I didn't find it I didn't I didn't find it that way nothing wrong there but hard to argue with results <laughs> all right sure I'm glad uh, it worked all right so I just got to put my screws back together and my camera kind of my other camera died so one of the thing was to test these capacitors just to see what they were at oh it's probably a good idea to take an amp on this too so Here's our black wire. We got 9.3, it's not bad. And our fan motor, 1.2, so we're good there. All right, so now let's check our microfarad reading. Got our old capacitor. It's supposed to be 35. 13.1, that was bad. And here's our five. Five point six nine. Point five six nine. Oh, so that was way bad. All right. Yay. Now I just gotta put the screws back in the fan lid, button things up. I don't think you guys need to see all that. Uh, thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Stay cool out there. 
It's a blazer. I drink some water, put this together, get off of this roof. The line's nice and cold. Working good. Thanks for watching Country Maintenance. This one was only because I knew that, uh, that Yep, uh, sometimes you get lucky. A little experience sometimes is a good thing. I wouldn't have known unless I had had that experience where I pushed the wire in and the fan motor worked out okay. So, thanks for watching Country Maintenance. Over and out. Stay cool out there. Even my, both of my cameras quit. This one's about to die. Thanks for watching.